Rumors are that allegedly Bravo has a big three plan. What is this secret plan? And how will they implement it? I have some new details that may answer all of those questions and more right after this. What's up, Kim Folk, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, Kim Folk, come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly Bravo has a secret Big 3 plan. What is this plan? And how do they plan to implement it? I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more. And here it goes. Kimfo, let me read to you what my sources are saying about this particular rumor. Sources are saying that allegedly Bravo has a big three plan that they would like to roll out this fall. One industry insider said, if these rumors are true, then it would make perfect sense for Bravo to explore this plan. The industry insider continued by saying, many of us know that Bravo is trying to rebrand Real Housewives of Atlanta. One of its longest running franchises is a special anomaly. After almost 15 years on air, the franchise is still one of Bravo's top five shows. So, trying to preserve its legacy only makes even more sense. Another source said, They are a little skeptical about the plan because it involves one person who at the moment is the only unpredictable piece of the puzzle. So, Many people are wondering, what exactly is this alleged Big 3 plan? And can it work? Well, allegedly, the network is looking to implement a plan where they take the top three Real Housewives of Atlanta shows and affiliate shows and use them to dominate the entire network. Another industry insider explained that the plan could look like this. First, they would kick off Real Housewives of Atlanta in late spring through summer. Then, next, they would have Porsche show pick up after Real Housewives of Atlanta in early fall through early winter. And lastly, they will have Candy in the Gang premiere late winter through spring. Many agree it's a genius plan. However, with one, predict with one unpredictable piece of the puzzle that sources say is most likely Portia, then it is yet to be determined if this plan could actually work. Now, Kim Folk, I'll be honest with you. When I heard about this... Uh, this rumor about a month or so ago, I didn't think it was too much. I didn't think it hold too much weight, um, simply because we hadn't seen how Candy's spinoff show had fared yet. It wasn't. We weren't even at the halfway mark of her uh, spinoff. Um, Real Housewives of Atlanta had not premiered yet, and we did not know how those numbers were going to come in. Um, but now we're on the other side of Candy's spinoff, and Real Housewives of Atlanta has officially premiered. And everyone's saying from industry insiders to non-industry insider uh, sources that Candy's numbers and Real Housewives of Atlanta numbers are strong, they're solid, and they're very impressive. Which all would lead to the network potentially exploring this plan even further to roll out in the fall. Now, there is one unpredictable piece of the puzzle that is Portia. And people are wondering, why is she so unpredictable or why is she the unpredictable puzzle piece? Well, it's because of this. 
Portia is the only one of the three who is the sole person who carries her show. She is the franchise person of her own spinoff. Unlike Candy in the game, Candy has other members on her cast or other castmates who also carry the load of storylines and show narratives. Then we have an ensemble cast in Real Housewives of Atlanta where we have six women, sometimes even seven, who also carry their own individual storylines that can keep the show going. However, since Portia's show is technically an ensemble cast, she is the franchise star of the show who the storylines would need to revolve around in order to get good in order to get good uh, storylines, narratives, and also to get even more views. With Portia's family rumored to not want to return back to her spin-off show because of the way things went last season, then it leaves a big hole for Portia to fill. And people may be a little skeptical if she can rise to the occasion or not. However, if she is able to rise to the occasion, then she can become a very reliable uh, puzzle piece in this plan, which could be very successful for Bravo. Now, why would this be very successful for Bravo? It's simple. When you have Real Housewives of Atlanta, which is consistently one of the top, if not the top housewife franchise on the network every season. When you have that show and then you have people still hooked on to the show after it ends and picked up by another Real Housewives of Atlanta star. And when that uh, series wrap, then you have another Real Housewives of Atlanta star is picking back up. And then it revolves right back around to the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. Then you keep people tuned in into the Real Housewives of Atlanta universe pretty much throughout the entire year. Not only do you keep their eyes on the screens and focus on the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchises, but you also keep their DVRs locked into the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchises and affiliate shows. So, it becomes a definite win-win for everyone involved. So, I can see that if Bravo can get Portia to rise to the occasion, then we can see a slam dunk next year for the network and a major win for Real Housewives of Atlanta. As my sources say, everyone at the network agrees that Real Housewives of Atlanta is um, one of those uh, special um, uh, franchises to where it's able to stay on top for so long. Something that is an anomaly because that is something that networks hardly ever see from even scripted shows. And I'll be honest with you, I think that's why Bravo does not um, put a lot of money into the promo. It's because these ladies are just really good at what they do. Even with minimum promo, people's eyes and their attentions were still glued to the screens for Real Housewives of Atlanta. It had very strong, solid numbers for their premiere. And I think that Bravo can recreate the magic with this plan if they ever put it into implementation. However, Kimfo, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that this big three plan, if true, do you think it's a good plan? And if so, does that mean that you think they should definitely bring Portia's show back for a second season in order to make this plan work? Or if you think it's a good plan... But you don't want to see Portia's return back to her spinoff and probably return back to RHOA. Then what kind of show could we put in Portia's place to make this big three plan work? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Alright Kim folk, if you, enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you guys back over on the next one. Peace.